Hello everyone, this is Ginger, she's a golden retriever, and we're going to be showing a full foot trim on her today. When doing the foot trim, the first thing you want to do is shave all this hair out of the pad. So we're using our Andy's clippers with a number 10 blade. And we're going to scoop some of that hair out between our pads, too. So you want it to look like that, nice and cleaned out before you start your actual trimming. We're going to take our fine tooth comb. We're going to brush everything down. We're going to start from the bottom of the foot. And I prefer curved scissors. You can use straight shears, but I prefer the curved blunt tip scissors. And you can see that the curved part is going to follow the shape of the foot. So we're going to get the bottom of the foot to look kind of nice and neat and round like that before we trim the top. So this is what you want it to look like. Now you're going to put the foot down, just kind of get a good look at it. And then we're going to move around to the front of the foot. And we're going to hold it forward like this. And then we're going to use our brush and our comb and our fingers to get all of this hair out between her toes. As you can see, I can take my fingers and go through the toes to make sure I get all those long hairs up so that we can trim them. And then again, we're going to take our curved scissors and we're going to follow the shape of the foot. You can go up or down, but you just want to make sure that you're going this direction and not this direction. There you can see you've trimmed a little off and giving it some shape. Now we're just going to repeat that process till we get all these little stray hair. You want to go across in kind of a sweeping motion. And then you can see when I want to get that little piece there, I turn my scissors around because you always want to follow the curve of the foot. There you go. You can see how it's really starting to take on a nice shape now. And then usually when it's about at this point, as you can see really nicely, then I'm going to take the foot again back this way, and I'm going to pull this hair down here so you can see there's still some little extra tufts. Now I'm just going to make sure we get all of that trimmed. And you can just touch it up while the foot is sitting down. And again, moving my scissors so it's always following the curve of the foot. This is pretty good, but just kind of getting those last little extra stray hairs. Okay, and then I'm going to tilt her a little bit this way. You can see this hair back here. We can trim while they're standing. So you can see all these little stray hairs here. There you go. And that's how you trim the foot. And you can see the difference between our fluffy foot and our nice trim neat foot. 
and then you can move on to trimming what we call the featherings. You can leave them natural. Some people like them trimmed, some people like them natural. But I always do the foot first and then move on to the featherings. So again, we're gonna get in front of her. We're gonna use our comb. We're gonna comb it all nice and neat and straight down. And you can see here, I'm just gonna trim off as little or as much as I like. And you can keep combing and trimming until it looks like you have a fairly nice shape. And then again, you can put the foot back down When it come, kind of take a look at it and then let it go back into what we call like the more natural position and then we can touch it up. And again, just depending on how much you want to fine tune it, you can do some combing and some more trimming. have the feather trim on the leg. So here we are trimming the back of the foot and again we're going to do the same thing. We're going to shave all this fluffiness out of the pads first. We're going to scoop that out a little bit in between her pads. And this is sort of what you want it to look like before you start trimming with your scissors. And I'm using my Andy's clippers with a 10 blade. So then the next step is again to pick up the foot and start from the bottom and comb this all down because we're going to trim it around on the bottom first. Oops. We're going to have our scissors following the curve of the dog's foot. You can see that's already starting to give us a nice shape. Now we're going to pick up the foot and bring it forward. And again, take your fingers and pull all that hair up between our toes, all those long tufts that get stuck. You can take your comb, comb all that up. We're going to take our curved scissors and we're going to follow the shape of the foot. And again, you can go this direction, or you can go this direction, whichever is more comfortable for you. You just don't want to go this direction because that'll just make it look really choppy. It'll be harder. So as you can see, you've got a good shape going here. And then while the foot is down, you can just take your scissors, follow that to kind of neaten that up a little more. And then I'm going to pick up the foot and I'm going to take this hair and I'm going to go down this time just to get that little bit of extra that might still be stuck between her toes. And I'm constantly putting the foot back down just to look at it and see what it looks like when they're standing in their natural position, just to make sure I'm getting all the hair. And you can just go back and forth and double check your work. And pull it back up this way again. Take my scissors and follow the curve in front of the toes here.
get that nice shape. And then as far as the what we call the back of the hawks here, you can either leave it or you can trim it, whichever you prefer. If you'd like to trim it, pick her foot back up. I'm going to take my curved scissors this way now. And I'm just going to trim that all up. And then put her foot down and see what it looks like and touch it up. So now I'm going to take my scissors and just follow along that line a little bit more. And there you can see a trim back foot versus the fluffy, not trimmed back foot.